the challenge. Play the smash. And today we're going to talk about stop hits. And I love this mental concept and physical concept of stop hits because when, when an attacker is attacking you, and when he throws attacks at you, and every time he brings the attack back, he is injured somehow, it's a wonderful thing. It defeats his mental attitude from wanting to attack you. It's a great thing. Um, and what I mean by this is uh, they're called stop hits. I, or, uh, it's a block or an attack that destructs a certain body part. I mean, it actually destructs it and really hurts it bad, okay? So whenever Matt will throw a punch, I'm gonna do a destruction with my elbow, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm bringing out my elbow for Matt to punch. I'm keeping my hand here, but as he's punched my elbow, I, this could easily break his knuckles in my back and break it into the metacarpals here, okay? So, to actually do this, let's turn around. If Matt's throwing that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring out my elbow so he's attacks my elbow, just like that. I'm gonna keep my hand here just to make sure I'm in connection with him because I can do a lot from here. I can do, I'm gonna do a lot, okay? So, the jab, boom. I'm coming here, do not practice as hard with your opponent. Okay, this will, so I'm breaking it, it's bad, okay? So this is, what I'm gonna do is stop it. You can work off a jab too if it, Opponent, so in a jab, instead of just going like this, slip it like a, like a boxer would, come over with a stop hit, okay? And you actually destruct his entire hand. So he brings it back, and he's like, holy crap, I shouldn't have thrown, with, thrown that punch. And he throws another punch, and I struck it again. And I, I keep on hurting him, he can, can't figure out what's going on. It's just the way I'm blocking. So, uh, again, the best offense is the defense, but, uh, and vice versa, okay? So you gotta understand that. Um, the more, more of this you understand, the more you can figure out how easy it is to uh, inflict pain on the opponent without actually attacking or doing anything, anything mainly offensively, I guess you could say, okay? So, again, the stop hit before a jab across would be the elbow. You bring the elbow up, boom, just like that. Just like that, one. I'm going slow to show it, I'm not going to hurt that, okay? like that. Now, there's a lot of things you can do after that. I'm not going to show them in this video. I'm just going to show you the stop hits. But you can do a lot, a lot of different things from here to actually control your opponent. Okay? So, our next one is going to be to the bicep. I explained this in uh, the video I did sometime about this, um, is, uh, but it didn't actually cover it in depth. Okay? So, I'm going to uh, turn this way. Okay, so I'm asking her to actually throw a, a hook with this, okay? She's going to throw a hook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to attack with my knuckles or my fist, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and you're going to punch inside of his arm right here or I'm going to rake down in his arm. What this does is it will numb the arm and cause a lot of pain. He's not going to want to use his arm anymore if it, that happens. And the closer you can get up to the armpit, the better. Okay, so there is this way, where I'm coming here, boom, I'm coming here, or I'm coming here, boom. Raking down, okay? Okay, so, to the left, I'm coming here, or I'm raking down, okay? And what Mitch means by uh, going up towards the <laughs> armpit is we have a very large nerve here. Mm -hmm. If you guys ever hit here, here before, it really hurts bad if, if you punch it, or if you have somebody else punch it for you. If you punch yourself here real quick, I mean, I, I mean, don't do it. Really, I'm just saying, like, it really hurts. Happens. Yeah, so, uh, it's a very effective thing. So a guy's coming at you with, like, a wild swing, and you feel your life is threatened, and, it, and you go here, and boom, you hit it. God, that is going to hurt like crazy. And he's not going to want to do anything. This will give you time to run. I mean, he keeps coming at you because he's, like, he's on meth, cocaine, uh, and acid all in one, and you can actually start attacking. Okay? So the next one we're going to so you is it basically the same thing as a bicep jab is going underneath the tricep, right underneath here, okay? It's really going to hurt the elbow. So if you throw a jab, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to use my knuckles, my first two knuckles. Always punch with your first two knuckles if you're going to punch, never with your last two. These are the weakest, so you're going to get a boxer's fracture if you hit wrong. These are the strongest, okay? So, you're going to come up with this. So this is a, so you throw a jab, boom, I bring it up. I'm relaxed, I'm just trapping here, boom. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come up and flick right here in this little muscle 
tendon, okay? This they're cause a lot of pain, uh, but uh, it's gonna numb the opponent's arm as well too. Okay, so you're gonna come here, boom, okay, so this flicking. Now this arm needs to be relaxed to get the actual flicking going, okay? So I'm in here again, boom, so you come here, bah! Uh, this, it can also, you can open up your hand like this and flick with that too if you want. But it's the flicking that makes it painful. Uh, whereas the bicep one, the reiki makes it painful or the punch but he first do knuckles into his arms. Let's actually bring it around to the camera here. So if I, so what I'm punching is I'm going to rake, boom, here, or I'm punching right here, or punching right underneath here. The closer I get to the armpit, the more the artery is there, okay? And now with this other thing, what I'm doing is I'm coming here, I'm blocking, I'm coming here, boom, I'm coming up right underneath the elbow. And just to show right where my elbow is right here. Yes. So, bah! Right there, and again, now let's actually go up a close version of uh, let's stop it with the elbow here. So step back just a little bit so you can. So I'm here. This is coming up right here. Okay, my hand is always here to make sure it gets to my elbow. Sometimes you'll miss, but if you're here, you can still trap and do a bunch of different things. Okay. Next one I want to cover uh, is a leg attack. Now. If you, if you throw a roundhouse, a lot of times when I've a bully tie roundhouse, I'm sure you guys all have seen it, but they kick to the uh, shins and the thighs and everything, okay? Bully tie. Now they teach you in bully tie to bring up the leg like this, okay? So we, you throw a bully tie kick, I'm just going to bring up the leg like that, okay? That is what is taught usually uh, to go shin against shin. So that means you gotta have strong shins, you don't break your own shin or really hurt yourself correcting with your own shin, okay? That's not the case here. I don't like doing that, I don't like having my shins, I don't like to kick a bunch of trees and become uh, tough and dead in my nerves, okay? And then it's real simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, when he throws that, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring my knee up like that and have him just kick my knee. Same concept as kicking my elbow, you're just kicking my knee, okay? So when you throw that in this, say it, an attack and throw the roundhouse at you. So this could have any moves can happen, so I'm going to cover a broad range of moves. So you come into the roundhouse, boom, I'm just going to go like that. But that did, did that hurt all? That hurt bad. Because that actually did. Actually, yeah, what it's doing. I'm in contact. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, my knee is going against a shin. It's the same thing as me taking a baseball bat against your shin real quick. And But he's generating the power to kick into my knee. And that just makes him look stupid. So, um, you gotta think about all these different mental defeats, okay? Like, he lined up to throw a great rounds kick he expects to really hit me, and then he just connects with my knee, and then, I mean, I could easily break a shin to sound up. Kind of like he kicks a flag ball. You just, yeah, you just go to a flag ball and you kick it. That's so, that's so with that, it's like you do that again, so I'll be a little softer, but you connect with the knee. Bring the knee out and put it. This does like practice kind of to get uh, the accuracy to get that. Uh, but other, it just takes practice, that's all I need. Mean, it's definitely possible, I do this all the time. So, attack, boom. Attack, boom. Go up here, this can lead you into, because as soon as he feels that pain, you can lead into a straight blast, you can lead it into a lot of different attacks, okay? So that's a great move. So those are four stop hits. All you guys have practiced, those are, are the most common stop hits you'll use. There's a lot of others, but we won't be at it. covering those things. So, this is Mitch. Hey, this is Matt. Uh, share with your friends and like the page. <laughs>